What's going on, everyone? So the Lakers lost their first home game of the season. They are currently 5-1 and one at home, which is good. It's a good record, but it's the way the Lakers lost to the Sacramento Kings. I understand it was a back-to-back. I understand, you know, the whole thought of like, oh, it must have been tired legs. It must have been that. No, this was the Lakers not showing up and defaulting back to bad habits that the Lakers have shown all season. You come off a game and a huge win against the Memphis Grizzlies, right? Which I understand it's the Memphis Grizzlies. I understand the worst team in the league. I I get all that. But it was how we played, right? It wasn't us doing the things that we did in the Kings game, turning the ball over heavy amount of times, not rebounding, not showing up, being careless, no energy, just not sharing the basketball, ton of isolation and poor shot selection. Anthony Davis might as well not even have played today. He should have just stayed home. I mean, this was an absolute just night and day turnaround from the Memphis game to the Sacramento game. I made a video talking about how I had concerns that the Lakers might shoot poorly, but this wasn't even just them shooting poorly. Like, I thought this game would be much closer than it was. I, I Obviously, they had the fake comeback and all that stuff, but still, this is, this is a game that the Lakers absolutely should have won. They lost by 15 points. They had 23 turnovers. 23 turnovers. How do you win a game with 23? They were trying to set the record for turnovers this game. It was atrocious. Atrocious. Everything else was identical, right? We shot actually a better percentage. We shot 51% from the field. We shot 38% from three to uh, Sacramento shot 36% from three and 50% from the field, which is kind of crazy because it felt like Sacramento was shooting the lights out. Um, we shot more free throws and shot better percentage. We had uh, 43 rebounds with seven offensive rebounds. They had 45 with 11. This literally boiled down to the turnovers. They turned the ball over 15 times. We turned the ball over 23 times. Their turnovers led to second chance points or uh, uh, fast break points, points off of turnovers. And... It just, these type of games, they got to stop doing them. We got to show more energy, more effort. Guys need to start picking it up. We're so reliant on LeBron James, it's ridiculous. LeBron James had a 28-point triple-double. 28 points, 10 rebounds, and 11 assists. And we still lost that game. And we were down 26 at one point. And we tried to do the fake comeback, which nobody thought we were going to win. I do think that they shouldn't have sat, or they should have sat LeBron James and Anthony Davis. I don't think that they should have played. Personally, I don't. I think that you you knew you weren't coming back in that fourth quarter. Although LeBron probably wanted to play, but Anthony Davis, man, what are you doing? Nine points, nine rebounds, one assist, five turnovers. I love the four blocks. That's great. You're keeping your your trend of three blocks a game. That's great. But if you actually watch that game, dude, Anthony Davis was unplayable. Getting absolutely abused by Sabonis. I mean, Sabonis turned Anthony Davis into Jackson Hayes out there. It was terrible. And even defensively, Anthony Davis was bad. Like, that's always been the default, right? Like, that's always been the thing that we could count on. Anthony Davis, yes, his offense can be night and day at times. Although he's been very good offensively all season. He had the the bad second half in the Denver game. But outside of that, up until this game, he's been great offensively. Great, right? But the one thing we could always count on with him is his defense. Him being able to, to lock down the paint, control the game. And he just, he might as well not even have been out there. And this is supposed to be his year, his team. This is supposed to be him taking the reins and and leading us to the promised land. The Anthony Davis we saw in that Sacramento game isn't even leading us to the playoffs, let alone the promised land, winning a chip. 
We got to take better care of the basketball. Got to. LeBron, look, LeBron was great. Absolutely brilliant. Him, D'Lo, and Reddish showed up. Cam Reddish, when Vando gets back, Cam Reddish needs to start. He's been brilliant. You go D'Lo, Reddish, Vanderbilt, LeBron, and AD. That's your starting five. Good luck trying to score on them. You have tons of athleticism out there now, out on the perimeter. You got great defense. Hopefully Reddish can continue his hot shooting. That would be great. Reddish gave you five steals, right? LeBron gave you four. It's great. I love that. LeBron what did LeBron things. But got to take care of the basketball, man. Got to take care of the basketball. And a lot of it was just careless, lazy passes. Seriously, him and Reeves, I don't know how many. Reeves had four turnovers, and we're going to touch on Reeves here in a minute. Between Reeves, Davis, and LeBron, you had 15 turnovers. 15 turnovers by your three, three of your four main guys, right? D'Lo being the other one. D'Lo took care of the basketball. D'Lo had two turnovers, and one of those turnovers should have been a foul, right? LeBron, you got to do better. You got to take care of the basketball. You got to stop these careless passes. He had three turnovers in like a minute span. Again, I don't want to get too much on LeBron. I don't want to get on his helmet too bad. He was fine. But the turnovers are an issue. Him, right? I mean, everybody. Like I said, Reeves. Reeves all offseason talks about how badly he wants to play point guard and he wants more ball handling duties and he wants to be a playmaker better and all that stuff. And yeah, eight assists is great. But to give us four turnovers, and a lot of them were just careless turnovers. Just silly passes, not taking care and protecting the basketball, and just timely, very timely. We had so many timely turnovers that just, like, butchered us. Every time we'd start getting into it, boom, they'd butcher us. Again, between three guys... We had 15 turnovers. And two of those guys are your stars. And it's just the, the laziness and the lack of effort. It's, it can't, we cannot continue to play this way. Right? I, and look, Sacramento, their, their style of play is tough for us, right? Because they, they like to just push and go 100 miles an hour, jack up 103. Sacramento is that team, they have to outscore you. They're not going to shut you down defensively, right? They're they're they they basically just jack up a ton of shots and hope that they hope for the best, right? <laughs> and, and just get out in transition and go 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 go. I mean, they shot 44 threes this game, 44, right? But what they also want to do is create turnovers so they can play into their game, get out in transition, run, get to the basket. Right, and when you have twenty three turnovers, you're playing perfectly into their into their hands. Like I mentioned earlier, we shot fifty one percent to their fifty percent, but they took sixteen more shots than us. They made forty eight of ninety six to our forty two of eighty three. Six more attempts times twelve, we are you know times two is twelve points. We lost by fifteen, so a couple of those were threes. So. That's where that's where the the disparity lies. Right? And we have to be conscious of every game is important. And you would think for a team that went through what they went through last year, that would be something very important, right? Like that that would be something that like, hey, we need to come up Come out and show up every night. We can't run the risk of falling behind and being four or five games behind, back in the standings and under 500. And now we got this uphill battle and climb again. But yet, it seems like guys that were even a part of that, Austin Reeves was a part of that team the entirety of the season. Anthony Davis, part of that team the entirety of the season. It's incredibly 
just frustrating to see those guys just not show up and deliver. It's simple. Play basketball and good things happen. Every fourth quarter, I say it every fourth quarter, if we play the, four, if we play the entire game like we do in the fourths, we would, we'd never lose a game. Ever. I mean, we're dominant in the fourth quarter. Dominant. Locked down, rebound in, hustle. All of the energy is in the fourth quarter. And I don't understand why we can't start quarters that way. Right? Because if we look at it like this, if we played the first quarter like we do the fourth quarter, I don't think we are completely unbeatable, but we probably win a lot more games because we'd probably have a big enough lead going through the rest of the game to where we could probably just kind of coast and ride it out, right? You know, if we're building 15-point leads at the end of the first quarter and outscoring teams by, you know, 15 points in the first quarter, at that point, it's just we just got to kind of weather the storm the rest of the way, right? But it's like, you know, we're down 10 in the first then we're down 20 at halftime. Then we're down 25 midway through the third. And then it's like, okay, well, let's turn it on. Okay, we got it to 18 now. Let's go into the fourth. Okay, we outscored them by 15, and now we lost. You know, because we because we didn't outscore them by 18. Those are the things that are just, it's just infuriating. It's infuriating. Because we know what this team is capable of. We've seen them do it. We, we saw them do it in the Grizzlies game. Again, I understand it's the Grizzlies, but it wasn't it wasn't like we were just this incredibly, I mean, we were hot, but it was like, it wasn't solely just the hot shooting. We were great in the interior. We were sharing the basketball. The ball wasn't sticking. Things were moving, right? We're getting after it. The energy was there. We were hustling, tracking it down. Anthony Davis took it personal against Triple J. All of those things. I mean, you look at the Grizzly game and you look at this game and it was completely night and day. And it was just the effort side of things that was completely night and day. We cannot have this stuff happen. We have to do better. We have to be better. It's ridiculous. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion, so I pass the question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What'd you think? How'd you feel this game? Um... You upset with Anthony Davis, set with Reeves. What do you think of the turnovers? Everything. How do you feel? Whatever your thoughts are, I'd love to hear it. So let me know down in the comments below.